We want to turn now to the COVID-19 crisis. The United States is on the verge of surpassing 400,000 American lives lost to the virus. You're looking at the faces of just some of the victims from across the country. And in a few moments, we will hear from incoming CDC Director Rochelle Walensky with how they plan to speed up the vaccine rollout. But first, Steve Olsen-Sami is outside the CDC with the latest this morning. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Michael. Health officials here believe that the next few months will be critical in stopping the disease. The pandemic is bringing another painful milestone this morning. Nearly 400,000 people have now died in this tragedy, enough to fill the stands of New York's Madison Square Garden nearly 20 times over. More than 166,000 of those Americans have lost their lives since the November election. In this video from the Philadelphia Inquirer, St. Peter's Episcopal Church rang their bell 400 times on Sunday, once for every thousand deaths. The ringing lasted more than 30 minutes. Public health officials are now warning that the so-called dark winter isn't over yet. Incoming CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said that she fears that this country could hit half a million dead from the coronavirus by the middle of next month. In California, Cedar sinai Hospital is now reporting that over one-third of Los Angeles patients are carrying a new strain of the virus, which may explain the recent surge in cases across Southern California. And people across the country keep dying. Albert and Carol Stevenson from Kansas loved each other fiercely and died at the same hospital less than two hours apart. They both got sick at the end of December and were holding hands in this heartbreaking photo in one of their last moments together. The pillar of our family has been taken away from us and it's very crushing. None of us feel like we have closure yet. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows that nine out of 10 Americans believe that the pandemic is not under control. But when asked if they would probably or definitely get the vaccine, only about 65 percent said they would. It is going up. It's still not high enough. Okay, Steve, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.